January is Human Trafficking Awareness and Prevention Month. Human trafficking is the fastest growing crime in the world, and yes, it happens right here in our country. Here in Monroe County, we have an organization known as the Keys Coalition that's working to prevent this from happening in the Florida Keys. I'm going to be talking with the director of this organization right after I show you this short film on sex trafficking. It is very disturbing, but definitely must be shared. powerful and emotional video. I'm joined right now with one of the directors of the Keys Coalition. Tim, I know you wanted to start by telling me something about the Super Bowl. What's the connection between human trafficking and the Super Bowl? <laughs> well, illustrations are always good. Mm -hmm. I looked up for actually the Super Bowl facility both last year for our first rally and this year. The Super Bowl is going to be held at the Superdome in New Orleans a week from Sunday. The capacity of the Super Bowl for football audience is about 67 to 70,000, somewhere around that. All the minor children who are sexually trafficked for commercial gain in the United States every year, it's 100,000. They could not fit in the Super Bowls, that many. That's how 
pervasive it is. It is. That is such a frightening number, and it is such a fast-growing crime, Tim. So unfortunately, that number could get larger, but because of the Keys Coalition here in Monroe County, you guys are trying to prevent that from happening right here in the Keys. You have a big rally coming up this weekend, Tim. Absolutely. Uh, one of the, the rallies is going to be at 7 o'clock on Saturday at the Doubletree. And one of the things we're going to do is focus on two minor children from Monroe County who were trafficked in Broward County, lured up to Fort Lauderdale, and trafficked this past year. Mm -hmm. And we have coming down as a guest speaker a detective from Fort Lauderdale who was named Bryce Brittenham, who was very instrumental in rescuing these young ladies and capturing the two men who had pimped them, both of whom, with his help, were successfully prosecuted. One of them has already been sentenced. The other one sentencing is due for February 14th. So he will tell that dramatic story about how he rescued those miners from Monroe County. So we will have those guest speakers at the rally, and I know that this is invited, the public is invited to this event. It's free to the community. Oh, absolutely, because we believe that the first step toward prevention is awareness. Mm -hmm. It's important that the public be aware of this problem because our goals are, it may be that it is also happening besides these two young girls, other places in the Keys. Mm -hmm. So it's important that people know how to potentially recognize victims and that they know the number that they can use to report if they have a potential concern. Besides calling the police, there is an organization that runs a national hotline 24-7 multiple languages called the Polaris Project. And that their number is 888-3737-888. Okay. We're also going to have at the rally a lady from Delray Beach named Allison Good, who herself was a victim of sex trafficking. I've heard her talk before up in Boca Raton, and her story is extremely powerful. I'm sure it is, and she was a victim of it, so you can't get more personal than that. Tim, thank you for being on this morning. If our viewers want more information on the coalition, maybe they want to get involved in the coalition and the fight to help prevent human trafficking here in Monroe County, just check out the website that you see on the screen or give the phone number a call. Again, thank you, Tim, for being on. Thank you for having me. Thank I'm you. going to take a quick break right now. I'll be right back after these messages.